U.S. President Joe Biden signed into law an emergency foreign aid package worth $95 billion, which includes $61 billion to Ukraine to help in their war effort against Russia. Yi Xingjie has more. $95 billion U.S. dollars. That's the amount of aid the U.S. is now providing an emergency foreign aid after approval from U.S. President Joe Biden. Of the $95 billion, $61 billion will go to Ukraine. After signing the bill, Biden said while the bill's path to his desk was difficult, but in the end, it did what America always does, rising to the moment to get things done. Biden also emphasized that the aid to Ukraine is not only for the security of Ukraine, but also for Europe and the U.S. You know, this package is literally an investment, not only in Ukraine's security, but in Europe's security, in our own security. The signing of the bill also allows for the U.S. to begin shipping equipment to Ukraine, including for air defense tech, artillery for rocket systems, as well as armored vehicles. However, according to ABC News, the United States already provided Ukraine with long-range attackums missiles last month following orders from Biden. The missiles have already been used by Ukraine in their fight against Russia, including in Crimea last week and again in the port city of Berdyansk this week. Attackums missiles can generally reach distances between 70 to 300 kilometers, enough to hit Russian territory. Biden's signing of the bill comes after the Democrat majority Senate approved a package that also includes $15 billion in military aid for Israel, $9 billion in humanitarian aid for Gaza and other war-torn regions, and $8 billion in security assistance to deter China's aggression in the Indo-Pacific. The bill was first requested by the Biden administration last fall, but was met with Republican-led opposition in the House before a sudden reversal by House Speaker Mike Johnson. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.